Muslims and will be helpful to you, mashallah, in raising your credit with Allah. However, if it's not meant to be practiced, then it would not be of great benefit to a person. In fact, it may be doing the opposite to a person. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu was reported to have said, كم من قارئ يقرأ القرآن والقرآن يلعنه How many I would count of those people who recite the Quran and the Quran is cursing them. He is cursing them because of the of what they do. They may read in the Quran ألا لعنت الله على الظالمين The curse of Allah would be upon those who are unjust. Yes. And he is unjust. So he would be included in this verse. إنه لا يحب المستكبرين He doesn't like those who are arrogant or boasting about themselves. So one person, if not just thinking of the ayahs that a person is reading and thinking that it will be a benefit to them, it will not be, of course, helpful to them. One of the other thing is when people try to sit together, especially when there is a funeral and they are sitting to try to benefit from the glorious Quran and everyone would read one part at the same time and they think that they have completed the Quran of course that is something that the earlier best generations were not familiar with they didn't do it and therefore one needs to stay away from this and even there is no recitation for a dead person if you'd like to benefit someone who's dead, don't recite the glorious Quran for them. The best thing is to make dua for them. The best thing is to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive them, to accept them, to make their graves one of the paradise gardens and so on. This is important. What we need to do when reciting the glorious Quran clean our heart but we need the purity of the heart in order for the Quran to be well received because if the Quran is coming to the heart and the heart is filthy or so much affected by sins and evil things obviously it will not have the good effect and it will not get the most out of it so one needs to clean the heart and to get the ill thoughts there and to stay away from all sins in order to receive the Quran very well. This is important so that we can reap the benefits of reciting the glorious Quran and remembering that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved to be remembered and the best remembrance is reciting the glorious Quran. What is best than to be engaged in communication with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the recitation is that engagement. And if we do it continuously, not leaving any day without taking a part, whether this is a juz, a full juz, or full part of the 30th parts of the Quran, or less than that, or more than that, point is, don't let your day pass without reciting the glorious Quran. I'll be getting into more issues on dealing with the glorious Quran in the coming episodes. Until then, I leave you with Allah's care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.